I have Ryan Hoopengartner here from HTC. Yeah, thank on the first try, no less. Yeah, yeah, no, th thank you very much. We're here at CES, and Ryan, so this is my second time that I've demoed it, the, um, the HTC headset, and very impressive as it was the first time. So tell me when it's going to hit the market, and then give me as much insight as you can on the price point. So the Vive Pre that we're showing off here at CES is a second generation developer kit um, for Vive, uh, which is HTC's virtual reality system. This system is going to be put out, as we've announced right now, in partnership with Valve, 7,000 units going out to developers at the beginning of this year. So starting now, developers are going hands-on with Vive Pre, which is the next step closer to our consumer product, which is going to be available in April. Gotcha. And what do you do for HTC? I'm the director of product marketing for the Vive team. Gotcha. And will it be coming with its own audio headset? So audio is an important story for Vive at the moment. Um, one thing that we realize is that the people that are going to be making this initial investment in virtual reality uh, oftentimes have their own audio solution that they already like to use, and mm -hmm. we're always going to ensure that people are able to use their preferred audio solution. So d does that mean that it will come with something, though? Well, we're still determining what's going to be in the final consumer package, yeah. but we do want to make sure that people are able to use an audio solution that's comfortable for them. Okay, gotcha. And um, when do you, or what are your expectations for the year in terms of, this is the first year that the Vibe is going to be on the market, so what kind of insights can you give in terms of the, the company's expectations? So. We've seen all kinds of interest. Um, I think in our when we were originally going down this path of VR, we knew it was going to be entertainment focused. We knew there was going to be a gaming component based on the PCs that, it t that are required to run virtual reality. I think what we didn't know is that when we show Vive to the average consumer, there are definitely people that you wouldn't expect that walk away with an idea of, I need to have this thing. Like This is the next step uh, of technology and I want to be a part of it. So it's going to expand well beyond, I think, your traditional gamer and tech and Enthusiast. Uh, in this year? Well, in the, in, future, 2016? In, the, in the future of VR. So I think there, there are unlikely candidates uh, that will be interested in VR, but in 2016, what we're really hoping to achieve is just the the first realization of what we've hoped VR to be for a long time. Do you think collectively, in, just in the market in general, including HTC, that in this year you'll see millions of premium headsets sold? Uh, I don't think we're talking about hard numbers just yet on what we're expecting to sell. Mm -hmm. What we really want to do is realize the potential of VR uh, and really answer what people have been hoping that VR would be, which we feel is truly becoming immersed in a virtual world. Okay, gotcha. And, and as you said those final words, there's a nice little image behind you, so that's great. And I'm just going to take a look over here at some of the hardware that I just demoed. The headset, as we see it today, the base stations, and the controllers. So, impressive. Thank you very much, Ryan. Good to have you.